welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of an interesting video. I don't know. In my head it sounds like a good idea because I just got my Sephora order in the mail from the first round of the VIB sale, which I was really excited about. And I thought it would be fun to film like a semi get ready with me with all the products that I picked up from the first round. So if you guys are interested in seeing kind of a little haul as well as a try on, which I usually never ever do, just keep watching. Also guys, quick disclaimer, please excuse the hot messness of my look today. I just got done with work and cleaning my house. And so I got all these baby hairs and I didn't wear makeup to work today. So I thought I should take advantage, but here is my Sephora package. I have not even opened it yet. So I thought it'd be fun to open on camera. And I know a lot of YouTubers that I watch have been talking about makeup fatigue and I'm kind of feeling that way too. The other thing is I didn't buy a whole lot because I usually just buy whatever I want. Like if I was more patient, I would have probably waited on the Huda palettes, the Pat McGrath ones. I still got a better deal buying those on Pat McGrath's website, but the Huda palettes, the gold palette, I could have probably waited on those. And then the Huda Beauty concealer, I did go ahead and pick that up when it launched as well. Mostly because I was worried, like, I remember when their foundation launched, it like sold out. So, and it, I think they're still like in the process of restocking some of those shades. So I bought the concealer right away, but that one did not sell out as fast as I thought. Anyway, enough blabbering. Let me dive in. There's not a whole lot of products in here that I can actually use in this video, but there's a few things. So Sephora samples, I honestly, I'm so sick of samples. Like, yeah, I am. Okay, so I did buy this because my skin is super dry and I just wanted to pick one of these up. This is the Believe True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And this is like a holiday set, so you usually get the full size of the moisture bomb and then some mini samples. The packaging is super cute, so I picked that up. You'll see a lot of hydration stuff in here. This is another one I'm so excited about. This is the Tatcha Camilla Beauty Oil, and I actually bought this because it says made in Japan. I feel like my skin, the Sunday Riley Juno Oil is like my holy grail face oil, but I feel like my skin's getting a little used to it. So I thought I would try the Tatcha oil just to see if I would, you know, notice any difference. And you guys know Tatcha is like so well known for their luxurious packaging and just being like an awesome skincare brand. It's going to be really hard to put back in here. So I decided to go ahead and take the plunge. This was a little bit pricey, but sale was the perfect time to pick it up. Also, you guys, if you have any recommendations for me for the second weekend, definitely leave me a comment down below. Like I said, I have dry skin, always looking for good stuff. I've heard also nothing but good things about the Deep Cleanse. This is the Clarifying Japanese Lufa Fruit Extract. And I know a lot of friends that use this one, and it's a green bottle. I, I don't want to break into it. The packaging is too cute. So, yeah, those are the skincare items. And then... These are the three items I want to test out today. So I had my eye on this when I saw somebody use this, a beauty YouTuber. And it's a Hollywood Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. And I got the shade. I got, she's got two shades. I think I got the darker one. It's like a medium dark. And I haven't used anything like this before. But I thought I should try it. It's got a sponge applicator. I'm going to use that a little bit later. First thing I want to start out with is the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of Natasha Denona, but these shades just spoke to me and I've really been enjoying the gold palette. So here are the shades. Let's go ahead and swatch them. I think I saw Mel Thompson review this and she didn't seem to like it too, too much, but here are the shades. The mattes look very, very similar. This pink shade is really pretty. This gold has like a flip to it. Let me see if they have names. Wow, I feel like this maroon shade already got hard pan from me just touching it. So I think the pink shade is called Daisy. We have Sakura, Botanic, Blossom, and Nude. So there are the swatches. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna see what this is gonna look like when I put it on my eyes. I'm just gonna use random brushes that I have laying around here. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Sakura, which is like a nice red. Just dust it off, just to be on the safe side. Don't wanna go in with too much pigmentation. Wow, there is like not a whole lot of color coming from this matte. Oh, there we go, okay. And I do have uh, a foundation on. I just grabbed like cheap foundation because I'm not going anywhere after this. So I'm wearing the Ordinary foundation. And I did use some Huda Beauty um, setting powder to kind of set the foundation because the one is very um, serum-y. So it doesn't dry down very fast. So I, okay, I'm accidentally picking up the pink shade. So now I have glitter in my socket, which we can all just pretend isn't there. Okay, so that's the first shade. Then I'm gonna go in with this burgundy shade, which is called Blossom. I swear there's like already a little bit of hard pan in the shade Blossom, which is kind of scary. I don't know why that is. And I'm just blending that into the outer portion of my eyes. I don't know about this palette, you guys. It's a little bit freaky. Okay, um, I'm gonna try this pink shade on the lid. Do I have a brush? I think I'm gonna use my finger. Usually I would do like a glitter glue, but like I said, since I'm not going anywhere, I think I'm just gonna use my finger. This is like a sheer um, glitter shade. It's like, a, it almost looks like an eyeshadow topper. Like you'd want to put another color down and then kind of use this on top. Um, and since I'm not using a glitter glue, uh, it's there's a bit of fallout, but that's okay. So there it is. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about this palette. Let me go ahead and finish up my eyes and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I finished up my eye look, just threw some mascara on and put some of the same shades in my waterline. So that is the finished look. And now we're gonna try the Charlotte Tilbury Contour. I don't know how to do this. Oh, there's an on and off. Okay. So now it's on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the girl I watched, she just did like some stamps. <laughs> she just made it look so easy and convenient. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that. I haven't used a cream product in a hot second. So. Oh wait, shit, I should probably turn it off. This is really fancy. Okay, so I have the L'Oreal sponge. Ooh, let me think. Mm -hmm. That's actually really nice. Okay. No. I'm not a cream contour human, so bear with me. I like the jawline. I could probably put more on, but I don't want to go too overboard since I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I don't have like a highlighter or anything to try out, but I do have this, which is a newer product by NARS that I've been testing out. So I'm just gonna put some blush on just so I can like sort of complete the look. This palette also is one of those where I picked it up before the sale and it's not really my favorite NARS face palette. I do have quite a few favorite NARS palettes and I don't know, I don't love that one. Um, so for that price, I might actually end up returning it. Um, so if you've been wondering about it, that's my two cents on that. 
So that was exciting. And then the last product I want to try is the new Fenty Uncuffed uh, Liquid Stunna Lip. What is this called? It's called the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncuffed. I don't have any of her other shades, so I'm glad. Well, I didn't ever buy the red one that she originally launched, uh, so I'm glad she came out with more neutral shades. And I decided to wait for the sale to pick one up, and this is what it looks like. This color right away reminded me of Kat Von D's Lolita, so I thought that color Lolita usually looks really good on my skin, so I thought I'd try it. And I kind of want the chocolatey color, but I thought I would try the formula first. It's pretty runny. So it's a very wet formula. I'm assuming if I give it a couple of minutes, it'll dry down completely. So let me wait for it to dry down and come back. Okay, so I did give it like a minute. Um, it's still drying down, but for the most part, it has dried. This is an interesting formula. It was wet and now it's dried down. And I swear I can see like every single line in my lips, which usually does not happen to me. I really like the applicator. This is my very first time trying this formula, so I can't say whether I love it or hate it right away, but it's a little bit interesting how you can see all of my lip lines, which I've never really noticed on my face before. So that's my two cents on that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was just a really quick one. I just wanted to try the products I bought from the first round of the sale. So I bought those few skincare things and then these three makeup products. The palette, I like this eye look. I don't know if it's worth the money. So it's nice to get some dollars off of it if I do end up keeping it. This guy, I'm super, super pumped about. There is not a whole lot of product in here from what I can tell. It's 0.41 fluid ounces, but I kind of like the way I was able to kind of carve out my cheeks with it or my cheekbones, so excited. For that, I feel like you can't really go wrong with Charlotte Tilbury products. I just wish she did a better job of like expanding her shade range so she could include more skin tones. And then this one I am still on the fence about. I do like a few things from Fenty Beauty. This one, not sure yet, but the packaging is really pretty. So yeah, glad I just bought one and I didn't go too crazy. Let me know what you guys picked up from the first round of the sale if you did get anything. And let me know if there's anything I'm missing out on that I should really check out. I have a few more things in my Sephora cart right now, but I can't make up my mind. I think I saw the Fancy Face talk about the Kevin Aquant um, concealer, so I'm like really curious about that. I'm wondering if I should pick up some Shiseido Facial Cottons. Uh, I think I might need a different shade of the Huda concealer. It's the one I have on today. I want the Tarcha. Violet C Radiance Mask. And yeah, it's mostly skincare, not a lot of makeup, which I'm kind of surprised about. And I'm definitely planning on picking up the new Huda palette during the sale as well. That comes out on November 1st, and the sale starts back up on the 2nd. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys what I bought, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.